Praise the living Jesus, praise the Lord, viewers all over the world. Good morning and win today in Jesus' name. Before we proceed with today's program or tonight's program, I would like us to observe a moment of silence for those who lost their lives due to this monster COVID-19. In Jesus' name, thank you. Yes, Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us together to share your joy, your peace, your love your protection and victory in your message. Father, we thank you for your healing and other promises. Father, where you lead, protection be. Success, breakthrough, and victory be in Jesus' name. Father, fulfill your promises for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My viewers, anywhere you are, in the comfort of your home, indeed, this year was an uncommon year. Sure enough, we are about to enter the new year. As we all know that every new year brings along with it new hopes, new aspirations, and new resolutions for those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Jesus is the reason for the new year. All this reason calls for a moment of sober reflection and reassessment. Before we enter into the new year, the question I want to ask you where you are right now. For the many years you have been living, the question I have for you, what is your mission? What is your vision? What is your purpose here on earth? Is it lying? Is it drinking? Smoking? Killing? Destroying? When we read our Bible in that book of Matthew chapter 2, from verse 1 to the end, and Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to the end, we read more about the mission, the vision and purpose of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the more we read these two books, the more we will be inspired to know our mission, our vision, and purpose here on earth. The good question, I mean, you need to source a good answer to all this important question. What is your mission? What is your vision? What is your purpose? In a nutshell, what are you living for? Whom are you living your life for on this earth? Do not tarry a minute later, maybe too late, to answer all this important question. You cannot very easily forget the various and bitter experiences we have encountered throughout this uncommon year. The year 2020, the year of uncommon challenges. We cannot very easily forget what you and I have experienced throughout this year. As we are looking forward to the new year, we should equally expect newer and better experiences than the ones we have encountered throughout this year. I want you to listen to me very carefully. The Lord said, in the year 2021, there will be nothing new unless we change certain things, certain behaviors about ourselves. New Year starts from home. If you have realized some misunderstanding, if you have realized some challenges, misunderstanding, some trouble in your family. You need to bring your family together and affect some measure of reconciliation and make necessary reconciliation for the wrong that has been done against one another before you can think of the new year. Because the first place to experience new year, it is in our home. You need to play your role yourself. In salvation, there is nothing like surrogate role. There is nothing like representative. In salvation, there is no Deputy, my assistant, there is nothing like that in a salvation. We all have to play our own role. Going by what I have just said now, you will now understand that your destiny, as far as salvation is concerned, lies mainly in your own hands. Your joy, your success, your victory, as far as salvation is concerned, lies mainly in your own hands. As we are about to enter the new millennium, the good question the unsaved men should ask themselves is what must they do to be saved? To those who are saved, the good question they need to ask themselves is that what must they do to maintain their salvation? 
These two important questions are necessary as we are entering the new millennium. We are Christian by faith. We Christian, we work by faith, not by sight. Only faith pleases God. To those who love Jesus and have taken him as their Lord and Savior, they walk by faith, not by sight. In this new year, the secret of overcoming spirit lies in the divine injection given by God. The name Jesus, the blood of Jesus. In this new year, we must sleep by faith, wake up by faith, in fact, do everything by faith. Take note of this divine injection. The name Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Anywhere you go, even now, you need to start meditating. The name Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. When you stand, when you eat, when you do everything, you sleep, you wake up, you dance, you do everything. This is the only way for the year 2021. I know that by the special grace of God, the Lord spoke to us concerning this year. We have been praying to hear his voice again, to hear his mission, his plan concerning our lives. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I know we want to know again the message for the year 2021. God speaks in parables, in idiom, and riddle. For the past few weeks, I've been battling to understand his message. And I want to share with you. The Lord say, by his spirit, 2021 will be a year of reward. Take note of that. We are rewarded for the good things we have done. Or we can be rewarded for the bad things we have done. Take note of that in politics, in private sectors, in personal affairs, both low, the medium, and the high. 2020 is a year of reward. Thank you. The Lord wants me to pray with you. Before we pray, I believe since we are entering into the year of reward, we shall explain further in the next coming weeks what this year of reward means. Before we pray, listen carefully where you are. God's children, don't worry about things don't worry over problems and things of this world. God's children, don't worry about COVID-19, about this, about that. They devote themselves to prayer and unto the work of God and to salvation. The problem of most Christians is that they walk by sight, not by faith. That is why many of them fall sick 
they fear, they complain, and they feel inferior because they walk by sight, not by faith. Sometimes we ask ourselves whether we will achieve those things we have dreamt of in the past because of the current situations we are facing. We aspire to be many things, but yet we wonder if those things in our respective calling will be achieved. We confess Jesus. We want to be born again, but we are not ready to pay the price. 